What's happening, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Red Elk Outdoors. My name's Aaron, and this is another beautiful day down here in southern New Mexico. I mean, we're down here again at the Rio Grande. I fished this area a few times. Uh, I think maybe last month. It's been a while since I've been down here, uh, but I've normally done fairly well. The water is actually a little bit higher. They've been doing some uh, some tests and stuff before they uh, open the river up and it starts flowing. But uh, yeah, I think we have a pretty good chance of catching something today. It's been nice and hot, and I know that there's some deep holes here. I have all my, just trying to organize my crap here. I have a mystery tackle box with a bunch of random stuff. These black biospawn worms are probably gonna be sauce. These are probably gonna work really well. I'm gonna have just a bunch of other random crap just all over here. I'm gonna throw all this in the backpack, bring a couple rods, one for moving baits, the other one for Texas rig and jigs and stuff. So, uh, I'm excited, I'm excited. So we're just gonna do some bass fishing today. Uh, haven't done much fishing this week. All I've done this week has been uh, using the blow gun and the bow. And so, made a couple videos out of that. I think you guys will probably only see one of those just because the other one was just a eh, little iffy you know what i'm saying i'm gonna save the footage for maybe another time because there is some pretty cool stuff but i don't think it's enough to make a whole video but that's you know that's another story that's another story anyway i'm gonna get all this crap put together and we'll uh, get rigged up a little bit and then hopefully you know with the little bit of time left that we have today hopefully we can catch something amazing so i'll see you guys in a little bit just by the water all right guys slight change of plans i figured i'd bring the bow as well i know you guys are on the chest mount so when we do take shots it's probably not going to look the best but i don't want to miss any opportunities to get any of these carp out of the water too so we got two rods and a bow we're just geared up man Ugh. Did I get him? No. Freaking no. Where'd he go? This dude messed up. We're gonna get him right here. How did I miss him? How the heck did I... He's stuck right here in the grass right in front of me. Did I get good penetration? Am I gonna lose him? We might lose him. That's sorry, I've been. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, he's a big one. Oh my gosh, look how big this thing is. Whew. We just barely got him. Whew. All right. Right on. This is a big one. This is the biggest one I've got all week. All right, and there's more out here. So, oh, I hit him a couple times. That was my first shot. I just barely hit his back. This one barely had enough for those barbs to, to be able to hold on. But we will go ahead and dispatch this fool. And uh, we'll get back out there and try for another one. Oh, there's another one. Coming right to me. Let's see if I can miss this guy. Looks like I got him. Get 
out of the grass, bud. He's a small guy. Small. He's small. Looks like there's some more straight out this way. Might be some right here. There's one right here in front of me. Grabbing the bow was a good idea. Buddy says, skirt, skirt. Let's uh, make our way downtown. Oh, he got fish up here too. See, I should have looked up here sooner. These are small guys here. I think we got him good. Looks like a good shot to me. Yeah, he's a small guy. Out, almost through the mouth. That's a pretty good shot. Pretty good shot in my book. All right. There's, there's literally dozens of them all around me. I don't know if I want those ones. Let's just send it up here. See some blood. There we go. trying to fight but I don't think I think it might just be nerves come here bud Ooh. we're stacking them up guys we're stacking them up this is what fish number four for today Let's see. Uh, this is going to be a little gruesome, so I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys off for a second. There's some right here. I think I missed. I'm pretty sure I missed. What the heck? I got him. I thought I missed, but I spined him. Man, all these fish are good size too. Right on. Right through the spine, so he didn't even fight. That's that's good. That's what I like to see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch Buddy as well. Let's get you guys a good look at him. Look at. That is a hefty, hefty fish right through the spine. We're going to put him out of his misery real quick and then, uh, oh, I need to, there's more fish right here hanging out. Oh, 
Oh, he skirted me. He skirted me. I think I'm, I'm aiming a little low. I'm just getting excited, guys. I need to calm down. Oh, they're on the move. They're on the move. Oh, gosh. There he is. Got him. I pulled out. I don't know why I went to set the hook on that freaking thing. Oh, that was so stupid. That was freaking stupid. Oh, man. I, I knew I didn't have good penetration on that guy. I hit him kind of towards the head. Like in that, in his like gill plate. And I thought if I would just pop it open, the, the barbs would open up. But, uh... That was, that was not smart. I pulled it right out of him. Oh well. Say la vie. There's fish up here. There's fish over here. We're just surrounded guys. Oh, luckily we got a bunch in this cut up here too. Kind of hooks around into a bunch of rocks. And they'll be isolated up there. We will for sure be able to get at least one more tonight. Is that a fish? I can't tell if that's a fish or a stick. It looks like a stick to me. That's not a stick. Or is it? Gosh, I can't tell. That's definitely not. Oh, I saw it. Losing my balance. That freaking hit a rock. <laughs> Gotta hurry up and reset before these fish find their way out. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <sighs> He's right here in front of me. Dang it. Oh, yeah. All right, right there. Kicked him. <laughs> Dang it, dude. So we're definitely gonna get one more. It's not looking like that's gonna be the case. We got a few more in here, but it's looking a little tough. Hey, and my boxes are wet. We're living the dream. Got him. Thank you very much. Ah. Ah. 
this right here not a decent all the fish i've gotten today have been pretty decent but it's getting dark so i don't know how many more i'm going to be able to get there's still a couple more in this hole but uh oh gosh if i can get this guy off in a reasonable amount of time we'll go after him there they go see they're heading off over there there's still one more cruising right here in front of us but as you guys can see once these fish get a little spooky they're they're, they're hard to get on see there he goes Hooey. Well guys, we're gonna call it here. The wind is starting to pick up, which is kind of weird. But uh, just emptying my pockets right now. I got, you know, I brought all these baits and stuff. All this gear, scale, backpack, two rods, bag full of crap and, you know, the bow, of course. I was expecting to do some bass fishing, but you know, I did not expect to see hundreds of carp just everywhere. I mean, they were literally every length of the river. You know, I mean, it's it's absolutely nuts. You know, definitely shot more than I got, but I'm not mad. We're helping the ecosystem by getting these fish out of here. Whether you guys approve of it or not, you know, I'll leave I'll leave that up to you. Um, but getting these fish out of the water is definitely a lot better for the bass and really every other fish species. They these carp they are incredibly uh, evasive. You know, they they pressure literally every single other species out of their spawning areas. Um, during the winter, like you'll see shad and bass and and carp and everything like that schooling together in this river. It's crazy to see all of these fish just like in a school just hanging out in the same areas but once spring hits dude these carp they go insane they start wrecking other ba like bass beds and all kinds of stuff so i mean it's 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 insane it really is insane to see how these bat or how the carp react around other fish um uh, throughout the year it's really really kind of crazy but um hey i'm trying to do my part so we need to need to get these fish out of the water out of the ecosystem or at least decrease the numbers so that other fish can have uh, healthy numbers just like them the only problem is is that bass are easier for other um, predators to catch right so carp they grow very big very fast right so some of these fish that i've caught this past week are probably only like a year old but within a year they're already you know two and a half pounds you know they're already just giant fish these ones that i shot today there's no telling um some of them were big some of them were not quite as big uh that first one i got that one he was a tank um but you know it's easier for you know raccoons hawks ospreys eagles uh bobcats everything like that to catch bass because you know especially this time of year because they'll be up shallow along this bank and um, they're not as big as the carp. Carp, you know, they're stupid. And on occasion, you'll find some, uh, you know, carp, carp carcasses and stuff like that on the on the shore. But most of the time, you know, it's it's bass or catfish. So, yeah, there's just a lot a lot more pressure on our game species than these carp. And they're fun to shoot, you know. I'm, I, I don't think I really need to explain that anymore. I mean, people who, who bow hunt or bow fish, like, y'all know. It's, a, it's always the people who don't. They're always like, oh, why would you do that? That's terrible. Don't do that. You know, if you knew, you knew. But anyway, it's getting dark. I've had a good time. My legs are sore. I think uh, from now on, if I'm going to do any bass fishing, I'll just bring my stuff out to the lake and leave all the bow fishing and stuff here at the river. Um, until they bring the water levels up and then that's when things are going to get fun we'll be floating the river so the river right now is low right so you guys can see here's here's the river right here and then uh you can see on that other bank when the water is all the way up it'll be all the way up against those trees so it will definitely come up you know several feet you know some spots are going to be super deep others are going to be more like this where it's about like five six feet deep but it's gonna be flowing like crazy. Tons of water going down, it'll be nuts.
Oh man, the sunset's looking nice. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Oh man, I love today. But like I said, if I'm rambling, but if I'm gonna do any more fishing for bass, it's probably gonna be out at the lake. But once this river comes up, we're gonna do some kayak trips and stuff like that all the way down to Caballo Lake. So from Elephant Butte down to Caballo, it's gonna take literally all day, hours. It's, I think it's like a six or eight hour kayak ride or something like that. I'm excited about that. It's literally all day on the water. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. But until then, anyway, I'm done rambling. I've been talking enough. I'm tired, I'm hungry, my legs hurt. Leg day was yesterday. I don't know if I said that or not, but my legs hurt. So I am gonna go pack all this stuff up, hop in the truck, run and grab some food, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.